Good morning. This is Bill from Auto Europa Naples, and I've got a lovely cold Florida morning with the birds chirping. We've got the sun rising over there. We've got condos off in the distance with uh, well-to-do people probably having very nice pancake breakfasts. Uh, but uh, I do have this 2006 Mercedes-Benz CLK 350 Cabriolet. Uh, this is not my first CLK. In fact, if you did a list of all the cars that we've had, and uh, you know maybe top five, you're gonna find CLKs in there. Uh, the reason being, it was a very successful model for a Mercedes-Benz because it was fantastic in a lot of ways. Uh, this is an E-Class level car. Uh, it's not a C-Class level. I have to have that debate with people sometimes. Uh, this is essentially the E350 Cabriolet of its day. And you can see my reflection in it. Uh, very, very attractive pewter metallic paint outside. Glistens, lovely color. Uh, it's got stone leather inside. Uh, it's got a 268 horsepower V6. Uh, very nice uh, luxury appointments in and out and uh, just generally a very attractive car all around. Uh, this one has just 57,000 miles, very, very clean, and uh, just a nice car to look at. It is a folding soft top convertible, uh, easy to own, easy to maintain. And uh, what is that banging over there? God, it's a little bit early for that kind of thing. Uh, anyway, uh, you can see the condition of this car is just absolutely terrific. We're going to start inside the trunk because that is one of the most important places in a four-seat convertible. Uh, you can see it's a nice sized trunk. I've got a bag of crap in there. Uh, we have books and some sort of a CD set. It doesn't have nav, so I'm not sure what the CDs are all about. Uh, this partition here, uh, when the top is up, you can push that guy forward and it really boosts your cargo space here in the back, which isn't even bad with the top down. You know, you'll be able to fit a set of golf clubs in there or, uh, you know, whatever else you need to take with you. Uh, that bag there is the original bag for the windscreen. Very nice to see that still with the car. They often get discarded or sold on eBay by thoughtless people. But uh, anyway, under here, there's a little compartment. We'll find our spare tire and some other stuff. I don't know if I want to pull it up. Now we'll get in there. There's a little compartment to, you know, put your, you know, valuables in and all very nice. Uh, these things here are uh, rollover protection. Uh, they'll come up in the event of calamity and keep you safe. All right, we'll have a quick look under the hood, but the sun's getting obnoxious, so we'll get in real quick and go forward. Debating whether to drive in with the top down today. Uh, anyway, under here is a 268 horse V6, buttery smooth. Uh, really, Mercedes Benz's uh, bread and butter engine. They put it in a ton of stuff. Uh, anything with a 350 on the end from this generation is pretty going to be uh, pretty much going to be this motor. Uh, so a lot of engineering went into it, and uh, it is a real workhorse. Very reliable, uh, very potent, peppy. Just a great, terrific all-around engine. Uh, that's made into a very smooth seven-speed automatic gearbox and uh, really moves the car nice and uh, gives it nice smooth power. All right, so let's hop in. No, oh, I won't. Real quick. Okay, here's the windscreen. You can see that's been deployed. Uh, you can remove it, fold it, put it in the trunk, or you can leave it up. It'll keep your cargo. If you have a flock of chihuahuas, you can put them underneath a thing in the back. They'll be shaded from the sun. Uh, otherwise, lovely uh, leather rear seating area. Uh, you can fit a couple of adults in there for probably 30 minutes before they start trying to stab you in the back. So, uh, not too terrible. Uh, in the center, you see uh, those two holes are part of the Harman Kardon subwoofer. And, uh, you know, pretty nice stuff back there. Very luxurious, the CLKs. You can see the bunched leather on the door panels and, uh, you know, very uh, cushy sort of stuff. All right, let's roll this car forward a little bit to get it out of the sun. Try to cut down on the glare. All right, we've got a tree blocking the way now. All right, so here you can see the theme of circles in the CLK. They do have a lot of circles in this car. Let me shut it down again for a second. Uh, you can see the instrument cluster is all circles. We've got ovals over here on the 
Well, they're circular. You've got circular things here, circular things here, ovals and circles. I would imagine the steering wheel is going to be a circle, but still. Uh, here you've got joining circles. Down here you've got circles within circles and circles, and of course the Benz logo, which is a circle. And, you know, okay, I grant you there's no square cup holders, but still, it's more circles. Even the pull tab for the uh, uh, glove box here is a big giant oval. Uh, so they really did like their circles on this car, and uh, you know it actually works pretty well in terms of uh, in terms of appearance. Very nicely styled. There you can see in the door panel, it's got very attractive real wood with chrome trim, 12-way uh, power seats with uh, driver and passenger memory. So you've got memory seats on both sides. Uh, there's your windows, trunk release, again with the lovely bunched leather in the door panels, and uh, everything real nice and chipper there. Well, let's fire it up. Look at that, two keys, nice stuff. All right, so that one was my fault. I hit the damn button when I moved the phone to the other hand. So anyway, let's fire it up. When I do that, the seat belt comes out on this great little stalk here. They call that the presenter. And uh, what that does is make the seat belt much easier to grab. Uh, very thoughtful stuff from Mercedes, so you don't have to reach around behind you like a contortionist. Some of these cars, you have to be Mary Lou Retton to be able to, you know, go back and get the seat belt. Uh, here you can see they've actually given me a lovely amount of gas. All right, I lied. I actually had to put gas in it yesterday on the way home, so uh, they left it empty, of course, the bastards. Uh, anyway, you can see all the, uh, the stalks, the uh, hieroglyphics are in nice shape. They're not worn down. Uh, you know, very telling of the low miles on the car. Steering wheel, very, very nice. Nice to grip, lovely leather, uh, not worn off. Just feels very nice and proper. Uh, you got multifunction display here. Uh, you can see that in our driver information center, look at that, 23 miles to the gallon average. So whoever's been driving this thing, certainly not me, has been uh, very gentle on the throttle and kept it, uh, you know, really turning in the good fuel mileage. If I own this thing for a week, it'll be getting 11. Uh, you can see 48 degrees, pretty chilly for Naples, very nice. We can go through the different uh, feature. Look at that, love it. Uh, you know, get your radio station. I'm just using these guys here. Uh, settings, you can go through and change all your settings, the lighting, the cluster, so on and so forth. And of course your trip computer with the range and uh, what do we have uh, after reset? Yeah, whatever. Simple stuff, but nice to have. Uh, you got a little teeny tiny tack over here. Tells you what you need. You got your uh, um, water temp. You got an analog clock. All very nice and proper. Uh, here you've got a row of buttons. If it had more stuff, the buttons would be filled in. Uh, but uh, it has what it has. Uh, it's got an electronic stability program, very nice traction control, lock and unlock. This will put down the rear headrests if they're up. And then this guy here will turn off the uh, motion alarm if the car is getting towed, which thankfully CLKs don't have to get towed very often. Uh, down here you've got Mercedes-Benz sort of in dash, uh, very simplistic radio, but it's got what you need, AM, FM, satellite, CD. Uh, you can change, you know, all the settings on it. It's nice sound. Let's see what we got. NPR this morning. Something about Trump and collusion. Uh, let's see if we can get a better station. I'm going to do direct access. Press that. Let's try a little classic rock. I always hated that song. Anyway, there it is. Nice sound and radio. Uh, here you've got dual side climate control, hot and cold, his and hers. Uh, you know, somebody likes it warmer, somebody likes it hotter, they'll be fine with that. Uh, you got an ashtray here that's never been used, you know, a good 12 volt outlet. Uh, very nice little leather shifter with the comfort and sport settings. Uh, as you can see, we're in comfort now. If I press that, we'll go to sport. Uh, I'm sure that changes the shift points and, you know, makes it feel a little bit peppier. Uh, up here, we've got a fold-out cup holder for the passenger. Here, we've got one for the driver and even one more. So if you want to go double-fisted American style and have a beer and a coffee, then, you know, you're probably, oh, you shouldn't be drinking beer when you're driving. Everybody knows that. Okay, in here we've got a uh, remote CD changer. Nice that it's in the glove box. We've got some more books to match the books in the back. You've got a little compartment over there for your 9 mil. And uh, if you want to put a pen up here, you can do that too. All right, let's run the top. So to do that, we're going to press down on here. Up comes the uh, hard tonneau cover, so to speak. Up comes the folding soft top. 
Very nice headliner on that, by the way. Folds very neatly into place in the front. Top comes down and down goes the rear. Keep your finger on the button and up come the four windows. Very, very nice stuff. So now we're nicely sealed and ensconched inside uh, the, uh, the raised uh, soft top which is very well engineered, by the way, to be quiet and weatherproof and windproof and feels like a coop in here. There's Pam. How you doing, Pam? Ah, she's very chipper this morning. It's nice because a lot of old ladies around here look at me really suspiciously, like I'm out to rob their purse or something. I have no idea why. I don't think I look like a miscreant of any kind, but God, they just very suspicious looking. So thank God for Pam. Uh, anyway, nice Boulevard Cruiser, this thing. Uh, you know, really goes down the road properly. It's got a lovely, soft, gentle feel to it. Uh, you know, if you get on it, it's got some juice. There you go, that's even in the comfort setting. Uh, it also has a driver adaptive transmission. So uh, over time, the transmission computer is gonna learn how you like to drive the car. And uh, if you're a real lead foot, it'll respond much more aggressively than if you're a real gentle driver. So uh, fret not, if it doesn't have the throttle and you know attack response you want when you hit the gas, just do it a few more times and the car will learn how you like it very accommodating car that way. Uh, otherwise, the CLK is a nice, buttery, smooth car. Uh, very luxurious feeling, nice and quiet, lovely to drive. And uh, of course, the top goes down. It's a fantastic condo car. If you're looking for something to leave in your garage down here in Naples, that, um, you know, this thing is about the best in the business. It's uh, cheap, affordable, reliable, luxurious, and you can still pull up to the Ritz-Carlton and have a Ben Star at the front and look pretty proper. So uh, anyway, there it is, 2006 CLK 350 Cabriolet from Mercedes-Benz, 57,000 miles, uh, pewter metallic outside, beautiful stone leather inside, uh, just a sweetheart of a car. Uh, if you have an interest, give us a call, 239-649-7300, on the web at mercedesexpert.com. Thanks so much for having a look. We really appreciate it. We're going to keep heading off to work. Look at that CLS over there. I don't know how I feel about CLSs. I feel like if you're kind of a Lithuanian gangster, that's what you want to have. But I'm sure they're nice otherwise. Anyway, thanks again. We'll see you with the next one. Take care.